Oh, God. I'm scared, guys. Oh, look at this. Holy crap. It is just the death pickle. Basically, the death pickle. What's up, guys? It's King Daddy D Mac, and welcome! Welcome back to another episode of Ark Survival Evolved! That's right, we're playing here with Ark Omega! Having so much fun doing flips! My goodness, how's everybody doing today? I hope you're doing well, because me? I'm doing absolutely fantastic. Yes, because we got so many cool things last episode. We got ourselves our very first Nova Strike. We got another Wrath. We got an Antimatter Omega Dialo. We got this little guy. Yeah, his name is Buck. Yeah, Buck. Pretty funny. We got another Sniper and we got the Legendary Death. The very special, special, uh, Probably most powerful Dynon in the game. Unfortunately, we can't ride him until we get his special saddle. But yeah, is super cool. We got a flying dolphin space whale thing. Things are coming together pretty well for us. But I wanted to kick things off with finally making a new hybrid. Yeah, we've only done one hybrid so far. It's been our uh, scorpion with our spider to make. Yeah, the unique lava. Let's go look at him real quick. Where is this sucker? Yeah, right here. It's so cool in this mod. You can make insane hybrids. Well, I've only been doing unique ones. You can, of course, do this. It's much less expensive with just normal uh, Omega Dinos. But today we have another unique pair that we can do. I almost forgot about this. But yes, we have our Galley uh, Spooky, which we named Haunter. And we have Sucker Punch, which is our little Lamprey. And uh, it's a prime one. So I went through, I checked all of the paragons, and we actually have enough, I believe, to do this. It's a little pricey, but first and foremost, we're, of course, going to want to get this guy up to an Omega. So boom, boom, up to Omega. Sweet. And then let's go check the hybrid machine. Let's see. Can we do this? So if we want to go spooky in him, we need nine in the female, ten it is very pricey. That's our most pricey one yet. So 10 in you. Let's see how many this is. We might have to grab some more. And 10. Exactly. Epic. All right. So we got 10 in you. And Haunter is 9. So it's 6, 7, 8, 9. Let's go ahead. And now it's going to take the paragons out. This is like the cost of breeding, but it's going to make a pretty epic creature. So let's now go into our hybrid machine. Okay. And we got, wait, what? Female nine, male 10. Did I not put in enough? Maybe I got to choose it again. Wait, no, it said it. Hold on. Where is it? Hunter. That's nine, nine, 10. 10. So what's wrong? What's going on? What the crap? All right, maybe maybe I got to heal him up. Let's wait a second and see if we can get it to work. I don't know why it's not working unless I'm just crazy like that. Come here, buddy, bro. Let's go ahead and heal you up. You are hurting. They're both probably hurting right now. And I don't know what is going on with them. They crazy town. Absolutely crazy town. But let's just give them a moment. But guys, yes, let me remind you while we're waiting for that to update. Please remember if you're enjoying the series to show that amazing support by slamming that thumbs up button. And if you're new to the channel or you haven't yet, seriously, what are you waiting for? It is the perfect time to subscribe. Also, be sure to check out the Discord. That's right. Everybody is welcome. Come be part of the Mac Pack. Come here, bro. Except for you. You don't get to be part of it. The link is in the description. And if you want to play along with us, remember, we have the member server. We have a cluster on both Ragnarok and Fjord. All you got to do to join is be a YouTube member or a Twitch subscriber. And remember, anyone who has Amazon Prime 
in your family if you link it to your Twitch account. You do get a free subscription every single month, so if you're not using it, you're losing it. But, uh, yes, let's go see what is up with those two, and I'll meet you back once it allows me to do it. All right, let's go see if we can do it again. I went and I rechose both of them, and yes, it works now. Epic. I It must have just not updated correctly. So let's do it. In fact, let's go look back here. So we're sacrificing. You can kind of see him back there. You're sacrificing the Paragon levels to get the special hybrid unique. So, oh, there it is. You can see the egg. Let's go ahead and pick it up. Let's get it incubating. Dude, this is going to be so cool. Oh, no, 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 no. I almost forgot. I almost forgot. We got to go do the best egg thing. Oh, yeah, that's real important. So right there. And let's just make sure it's going, doing all of them. 20, 29. Yeah, so we're getting, most importantly, it's... uh. We got the higher melee and we've got the higher health. All right, so make best. So by doing this, we'll get the better stat there. All right, make best. Boom. Epic. Wait, huh? It said failure. All right, either way, it doesn't matter. This is what we wanted. We wanted the galley stats. All right, fair enough. Let's go toss it in there. Beautiful. And while that's going, I did locate something super epic and special for today. But uh, I'm going to have to go track it down. It is a unique that we already have, but is a huge, huge upgrade. So actually, Solar, get over here. Get over here, Solar. Boom. Boom. All right, let's go hunt it down. Oh, you guys are going to flip out when you see this. It is epic. All right, guys, it should be right over here. Um, Yeah, you know how we've been hanging out in this dimension so much more because of all the boss shenanigans? Well, yeah, something super cool actually spawned over here. All right, come on. Just clearing out the badness. Get out of here. All of you. My goodness, it is a total mess. Come on, wyverns. Okay, now that that's all cleared, let's go land real quick. I know it's not totally cleared, but let's go put on our armor. Which one is it? Crap. It is this one, I believe, right? Maybe. Yeah, that's the right one. Go away. Oh, you're going to get it, guys. You are going to get it good. All right, beautiful. Whoa, stupid stalker. All right, let's go see if we can see this guy. Whoa. See that going on? That is an absorbent bubble coming from. Ready? It's obviously a Vash. Let's look at Oh, you can see already. Dang it. But ultimate Vash. Yeah. So um, we definitely want this guy. Oh, yeah. Really, really badly. It is an ultimate. That means we only need to put in one Paragon to make it an Omega. It is going to save us so many resources. All right, everybody out of here. I can't believe how big his bubble is. It's crazy. All right, so I think it is all clear. Let's proceed to get ourselves the best Vash yet. Ready, bro? Oh, man, that does like nothing. Holy crap, we're going to be here for a little while. Oh, man. Come on, buddy. Just go down. Just go down. Almost there. Oh, so close. Got him. Beautiful. All right. Three ultimate kibble. Not a problem. Just making sure nobody's around. Kind of don't like that RG. Kind of don't like him. Let's go get him real quick. Oh, he's getting far. All right, get wrecked, RG. All right, three ultimate. Whoa, weird. He just stood up like that. Okay, buddy. Let's go ahead. Go kibble. And did I make ultimate? Yep, ultimate unique. Three, please. Paul. Oh, my goodness. I can't believe it is about to be ours. 
And... And... Oh... Oh, oh, oh! No, stay away from my Vash! Oh! Oh, that would have made me so upset. Holy cow, we did it, guys. What an amazing, amazing thing. Wow. Now, we are going to have to compare if it's actually better than the bash we have, but it's an ultimate. You know, hands down, the paragons for these guys are so hard to come by. So, pretty dang sweet. Anyway, let's get back to the base. By now, our egg should be ready. Let's go hatch out our Gallopray. All right, back at the base and our two best Vashes, but our new one, we are rocking 31 in the health. This one, only 25. So it is an improvement from Vashette. Oh, that is super cool. But they do have varying stats. Yeah, for sure. But I think the stats that matter are going to be likely stamina, which our new Vash is much higher in, and then health. So that's super cool, but potentially you could breed them. Potentially. I don't know how many Paragons that would cost and if it's worth it, but we could if we wanted to. So very cool. However, being that this one is a basic, yeah, and this one is an ultimate. Seriously, big, big help. That's what, like five Paragon difference? Four Paragon difference? Yeah. We are getting closer and closer, guys. I love it. But yes, the special saddle that we have. What is it called again? We only have the one. Asteroid. Oh, man. That is so cool. All right. Next up, let's go ahead. Hatch out our new egg. I just want to double check this again to make sure I did it right. So putting in there, refresh all. And are we getting the best stats? Okay, so it looks like it did, in fact, make it best. Just making sure. All right, it says failure because it can't recognize both, but I think it did move over some of the stats or at least give me the galley stats for all of them. So that's super cool. All right, next question. How long is this sucker going to take? Um, it might be another two minutes. Let's see here. Yup. All right. See you in two minutes. All right. It's about to happen. Here we go, guys. Our very first hybrid gallop ray. Whoa. That is weird. Okay. I think that's a little goofed up, but it's still a baby. That is so weird looking. It looks like it ate a gallop ray or a, a lamp ray. That is super funny. So this is the combination of them both. Wow. Uh, let's look at the actual stats on it. Omega Fiend. Dude. That is so good. All right. Um, We have it set up so that if we pick it up and throw it back out, it'll be fully grown. And... Oh, okay. It fixes it once it once it becomes full size. That is funny. So there's a thing with the mod right now, how the hybrids are made, where you can't have both of the creatures get the special look. So it ends up being a combination of the two. But I think that is crazy looking. Absolutely nutty. I, I'm actually kind of floored that it actually gets the special ghost body. That is super duper cool. All right, so we have a saddle. Bada boom. Let's put in all of our special stuff. Bada boom, bada boom. Wow! Look at this. It's so bizarre. So it actually makes a galley be able to do like good attacks and everything like that while giving the uh, lamprey, you know, a nice, nice uh, bonus of speed and, and actually being able to get around. It is super goofy. All right. So this guy, let's just go take a look. Let's also put it onto passive. This is a ghost vampire type. And um, that combination makes it a 64. Yes, 64 times multiplier, which is the same as what death is. It is not the top, but one, like near the top of multipliers in the game. Let's see. 
Wow. Now, it gets much more insane during the daytime. And as you can see, neither ability has anything that it can do during, like, you know, I can't press X to do anything. Come here. I've never used one of these before. This is a new creature. It's kind of goofy on hitting. There we go. There we go. You have to get real close. My goodness. All right, but that's during the day. Let's uh, let's wait till nighttime and try this guy out at night and see what it's like. Again, without boosting anything into it. Is that a paragon? No, it's a metal one. All right, so I'll see you back at night. All right, I think it is considered night now. Let's go. Oh, yep. So at night, it gets the special vision. Um, it's since it is part vampire, right? Vampire. Par vampire it is going to get the health recovery from what it attacks, but for the extra um, damage, it's got to be nighttime. Oh, so it went from hitting what 90 something during the day to a over a quarter million at night. Plus, it's getting, I believe, health recovery from that. All right, that had to have resisted. That is so insane. Good God, the power. So again, it's only going to be nighttime power, but still that is pretty dang epic. Oh, what happened? I pressed. Oh, you can toggle it on and off by pressing G. Dude, it is so weird. I haven't really played at night much, but we got to I want to take on the nightmare God next. So maybe it's something we got to get used to. Is there any? Yeah, there's no other moves. But yeah, now where this guy really is supposed to shine is once you have the saddle. So we have to see if we have enough uh, paragons and stuff that we can, you know, really do that. Let's also see how this guy swims. Because being part um, Lamprey, I don't know, it might swim cool. It might. We'll, we'll find out. All right. Oh. This guy swims really fast and still no right click or anything, but dude, it is so epic looking. It's just the funniest looking thing ever. It's crazy. All right, come here, guys. So at night, like we're probably practically invincible. It is so good. <laughs> it is so much fun. Um, let's go. Let's see. How are we doing on levels? Oh, we're doing pretty good already. Let me get him boosted uh, all the way to max and let's try him out more. What do we get? Roll rat paragon. Nice. All right. I've got our gallop ray all the way leveled up. Let's go head on out. It's uh, it's about to be nighttime again. Yeah. So let's see what he hits for. Hopefully we can do this before it actually hits night. Come on. Let me get a couple hits in, please. All right. Oh, are you kidding me? No. Oh, you stupid, stupid thing. Why do you do this to me? All right, whatevs. Let's go and see. Can I hit? Ooh, gallop. All right. We got a ray guy right there. All right, can we get a hit, please? For it's nighttime, I need to show off the damage. All right, so this is at 88. We're hitting for basically what we hit for once we turned into a ghost. So I saw a 250. I saw a three something. It's pretty good damage, and this is, again, during the day. Kind of crazy. Come on, can I? I'm kind of stuck right now. Can you go away? I'm stuck inside of a stupid guy. All right. More hits. 250. Yeah, so it's kind of all over the place. Those guys are probably mate boosted. Oh, I hate these stupid sirens. It's killing me. They are just the bane of my YouTubing existence. All right, come on. I didn't really want to be in here. It's hard to hit without finding mate boosted stuff. All right, 373 is what we're hitting for. All right. And apparently we weren't even maxed yet. We're maxing uh, in most stuff, not everything. All right, so that's pretty good. Uh, how are we doing on time? At 2030. 
it is going to turn to nighttime. And then we get to see the real power. Um, what can I put level? Ooh, not bad. Um, I'm a little torn. A little torn. Um, let's do a few in a movement speed. Why not? Should I do them all? All right, whatever. We did them all. Hopefully, it's not going to be up. Oh, it's nighttime and. I hope this isn't uncontrollable now. Dude, we're hitting for over a million, almost a million and a half. And to be honest, it's possible those things are mate boosted. All right. Oh, it's so weird with the uh, the nighttime vision. This is insane. The power again. We are just an Omega. We did not put in a single Paragon or anything and we're hitting this hard. It's craziness. Absolute insanity. You really do have to be close to hit, though. That That is the one thing about this guy. All right, I don't want to get dismounted. If that's even a thing, it'd be cool if it had a right click. All right, so anyway, it, as you can see, it's incredibly, incredibly powerful. What do we got here? Come on, guys. Like, I'm not afraid of anything at this point. Absolutely nothing. But it's only going to get stronger. Get wrecked stuff. All right. So let's go head back to the base. And DMAC K base. Go away. Go away. When pigs fly. <laughs> Too funny. All right. So we're back at the base. And I have to say this guy looks pretty good when it's uh, in that, that special vision. Dude, I'm stuck. It does have a jump, which is nice. Can I get through? Yeah, huge. It's like a giant walking pickle. That's that's kind of what I feel like I'm on. But uh, anyway, um, we actually do have a fair amount of paragons for these guy. This guy saved back five, meaning for the gene splicer we can do. Let's merge everyone that we got. Fifteen. Oh, we are going to get to Paragon 15 on this guy. All right. So let's go ahead. First drop all of you. All right. And let's see what a Paragon. I've been saving up for this for a while, guys. Holy crap. And it, it actually cost. I was hoping to be at Paragon 20 when I did the... Uh, when I did this, but it was a little bit pricier than I thought actually making them. All right. So there's that. I wish I could get like a torch that I could just put on my, well, you know, they do have the spotlight one, but it is very nasty at night. All right. Paragon 15 fiend. And then I saved back. Let's just see. Uh, no, we have to go in here. So it would be. Galipre six. Awesome. So we have six more, which is one to do the boss. And then hopefully if all goes well with that, we get an additional five to do the saddle because I do have the galley saddle, but I don't have the uh, lamprey saddle. That one's a little bit uh, iffier. We'll just put it at that. So let's put in a Galipre thing. And unique token, unique god token. This is this is the one we want, right? Yeah, not quite the ancient yet. It would be nice if I had enough to do that, but we're going to have to save up more. All right, unique god token. Beautiful. Hey, buddy. So the question is, do we have to do this fight at night? That I'm not sure about, but let's head over to the boss fighting area. All right, it should be considered official night any second now. And our power will go up. I'm just, I'm afraid to do the boss during the day. I don't know. I don't know if it won't let me or if it would be maybe invisible and I wouldn't be able to hit it. And who knows, it would wander away. So I don't want to take the chance of it. All right, come on, hurry up. How much more time do we got? All right, 18... Our daytime speed is like half of normal speed, just so we can get daytime longer. Dude, what is that? Oh, it's a cursed one. Holy crap. All right, let's wait till our curse ends. 
All right, come on. How are we looking? Eight more seconds. Yeah, all right, we got it. And hitting 23 million. That's what it boosted up to. That is insanity. And our resistance and everything's going to be more too. All right, here it goes. Oh, potion compy is all set and ready. Galapray, God, here we go. Oh my, I'm kind of scared. I'll be honest with you. All right. So it's going to get the same boost that we are. Holy crap. All right. Is it fully summoned in? Let's go. Oh, yeah, we got him. We got him. All right. Hasn't really hit us much yet. Oh, come on. And yes. Holy cow. We did it. We did it. We did it. We did it. And we are now godlike. Oh, I love it. Oh. All right, buddy. All right. Let me just work up the nerve. Let's wait for everything to be okay to go again. Let's work up the nerve and let's do the saddle god. All right. I guess it's as good a time as any. Saddle god for the gallop ray. Boom. And let's go. Come on, baby. You can do it. I have faith in you. So we've got the extra reactive damage resistance. So hopefully that actually helps us out. All right. Holy crap. Here we go. He, oh, this guy is a different name. That is super weird. I hope this is the right guy. Hematologist. Come on. Come on. Yeah. Oh, baby. All right. Unique Galpray saddle. Variant multiplier forced to 20 times. 500% uh, ability damage. Permanently reactive and 50% dodge. That is epic. All right, let's get this colored up and let's try it out. All right, we have the saddle all colored up and made. And let's go see what this guy's like now. I think it is going to be insane. Absolutely insane. Ooh. Ooh, dude, look at the damage. Whoa. Do you see? Hold on. Move, 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 Trace, move. Dude, we're stuck. Let me out. I got I got to get that thing. The ring aid. All right. So we do permanent reactive damage. Yeah, that's the ones, you know, when they get wet, they uh, they do like it's funny how we can't actually see it. But just watch when we get close to this Rex. Forty six million and it's repeated damage if they don't die immediately. Like this is nasty. All right, let's plop down in here. All we got to do is swim by guys and they die. Everything. How insane is this? Now, of course, if we were a reactive type going in the water like this would always happen. But being permanently reactive, it's always, always going to be doing this damage like all the time. Anywhere I can just park this guy anywhere I want and it will just destroy everything. Oh, and by the way, how much am I hitting for him? By the way, this is during the day. It's possible this does even more at night. I don't know if we're going to be able to get close enough to anything to be able to even hit it. And look at even when a siren's going on, it's getting everybody. Uh Oh, OK, we good. We good. It is nuts. Like, that's a lot of damage. And we don't even have to attack. I, I just don't even know what to say about this. Like, this thing is disgusting. 
and of course is going to be an addition to our team that we can just set out and not have to like do attacks or anything it's just going to do insane amounts of damage it is too nuts i'm i don't know if i'm ever going to find out what this guy hits for all right why am i going all slow now come on go faster okay there we go Look at it! It is just the coolest thing ever. My god. I don't know if there's anything in the wild that can even withstand this. Holy cow. Stop, stop! And I'm pretty sure I don't have to be riding on this guy for it to uh, do all this. Holy cow. And see all the dodges? Our saddle gives us, I think it's 50% dodge chance, too. Holy crap. Oh, this is going to be great for taking on um, essence types and soul types and all those that miss because it's just constant damage. Like, just imagine, like, a, it's almost like a, what is it, Starfire? Imagine that, but it just goes on forever. Like, it's a permanent Starfire. It's basically what this is. It is so, so overpowered. I heard that this is actually going to get nerfed in a future patch. But I'm glad we get to at least experience it for now. And of course, it's still going to do it. I, I don't know how it's going to get nerfed. But good God, is this awesome. It doesn't even like pull down your stamina or anything. What is that? Is that? That better not be. Hold on. Okay, that's a miracle one. Just watch. See, it's going miss, miss, miss. That's how quickly it does the attacks. Wow. During the day, 30 million. Holy crap. So, I mean, I could just set this guy up, walk away, and put, I don't know, like a void vacuum by him. Maybe. Is that how this would work? Just look it. It is just the death pickle. Basically, the death pickle. And holy cow. And we even get the drops too. Can I shoot off this guy? What? And I can even shoot off of him to do more damage. So I could just sit on this guy and I could be uh, debuffing with my uh, that one axe and the eclipse armor. It's crazy. Good. Now, I don't know if anything's immune to reactive damage. Definitely uh, not the creature you want to bring out, though, if you're trying to do taming. That's that's for sure. I wonder if I can run by guys quick enough where they don't get damaged. Oh, it is too incredibly good. So this, again, is going to be most important when we do uh, boss fights and whatnot. But this is pretty nuts, guys. This is very much so pretty nuts. Let's wait for nighttime and see if it does even more damage. Oh, did this guy pick? Did I pick up the guy or did he do it? Let go. There we go. All right. Moment of truth. It is now nighttime. Let's find out. Does, does it do even more damage at night? No, it looks like it's about the same. It looks like it's exactly the same. We probably hit harder. But no, you know, that's actually a good thing because that means we can fight. I mean, it would be sick if it did even more, but. Yeah, we can do this day or night. It does not matter. Good lord. I wonder if the reactive damage counts as damage that we get to heal from. Oh, if it did, that would be uh, even more spectacular. Holy crap. This is too good. I can't believe this creature exists. It is just nuts. Oh, all right. I found uh, something that is immune. This is a reactive raptor, and that's what we're doing. Reactive damage. So uh, apparently they're immune. Good to know. Good to know. And look at that. Hit for almost 60 mil. That is insanity, guys. Absolute insanity. Man. So as cool as this guy is, he does have his drawbacks. I just killed a prime, 
prime potion copy. I, 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 do you know how many people would kill for that? Oh my lord. So yeah, it's actually, I also killed a couple of uniques by mistake. Just running around. I've been going ham. Absolutely ham around the server. And I have to say, this this really truly is one of the coolest creatures. I, I honestly can't believe it exists. It is so utterly good. Alright, come here, bro. Bow! Just everything. The amount of dinos it's able to just slaughter. And I don't have to be mounted on it for this to work either. It is too good. But anyway, I just wanted to show that to you. Um, so I do not know, and I'm a little afraid to try this guy against the nightmare boss. I mean, I think he could be okay, but this thing was has been so expensive, like so incredibly inspect ins expensive to do. I think it's just a risk that it's not worth trying, even though I think it would be fine. So, on that note, why don't we go get prepped to take on the, uh, it's the final tier, other than the utility. Yeah, so I'll meet you over there, guys. All right, it is the middle of the night, the perfect time to take on Nightmare Bosses. So, oh, how are we going to do this? I've got this dude. Um... I'm kind of scared. I'm going to be completely, completely honest with you. We'll see how it goes. Let's go grab solar. Come here, solar. So we're just going to be running it. Us too. We, I will find out how, how it does. All right. And we have all of the bosses. So let's get them all in here. Let's go choose soul type. Let's make it boss souls. Let's make it God. Oh my goodness, what's going on? I don't want endless God. Oh, oh crap. Uh, all right. Hopefully we did the right thing. I don't want endless. Oh, Lordy, Lord, Lordy. All right. You follow me, fiend. All right, we just got to make sure that he stays okay. Oh, man. All right. Oh, dude, Fiend wrecked him. That was epic. All right, Vampire. Dude, Fiend. You are amazing, dude. All right, here comes the ghost. All right, get him, Fiend. Get him. Oh, this is so cool. Unmanned. All right, next one. Whoa. Oh, Fiend got him. This is so cool. All right. Uh, oh, how long does this last? All right, almost done. All right, was that all of them? Did we do them all? I feel, I feel like there should be more. It might have pushed me out of range. I don't know. Let's find out. We have... Oh, is this somebody right here? All right, there we go. All right, there is nine things in here. Ooh, hello. All right, Ghost God, thank you very much. We'll pick up that stuff later. We got two more. And one more. And hopefully, and you didn't get anything, right? Hopefully, the last one's going to be in here. All right, here it goes. And bada boom. Oh, all right. Let's hope for the best. You all right, Fiend? Fiend's all right. Oh, God. I'm scared, guys. Oh, look at this. Holy crap. Get him. Get him. Holy crap. We got to stay by. No, we got to stay by fiend. Oh, Lord. 
Oh, Lord. I can't do anything. This this is rough. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. You're right, Fiend. All right. Staying by him. Yeah. Ooh, we got lurkers. That's cool. Yeah, Fiend, you did so well. I'm so proud of you. Oh, that is awesome. Oh, very cool. All right. Well, all we got left is the utility guide. For that, we got to finish powering up our nest. But um, until then, yeah, I think we did pretty good today. Let's go through those comments. Man, this day just gets better and better. Guess what? You know, yesterday we did the lucky bosses. I was a little uh, disappointed in, uh, you know, in what our output of grinding was. It wasn't horrible, but someone made me aware that there's actually a special Wabajack that, let me see, what was it called? The uh, Maniac. Yeah, it's actually a unique Wabajack. Yeah, pretty cool. We only got one of them, but it had to have been obtained from the Ludicorn that we did. Well, this particular one is Ascendant. The one we did yesterday was only a ramshackle and what it give like, was it like 150 to 300? Well, check this out. 4,000. This one tool has basically, um, yeah, it has, this is what we put in to do everything. And we still have nine more loot bosses to do. So yeah, we are rolling in it, guys. Absolutely rolling in it. I am super pumped about that. Um, let's go ahead, dump this all out. Oh, it's so cool. But anyway, yes, guys, it is now that time. That's right. Time to name the dinos. For those of you that do not know, at the end of every single episode, I go through the comments of the previous episode and I pick out all the most awesomest name suggestions that you guys leave in the down there. That's right. Just remember, if you want to have a chance of getting your name chosen, you got to be a subscriber. So smash that subscribe button and yeah, just comment down below it is just that easy anyway for today we have uh, yes a lot of guys to name we have death which will be known as shadow striker love it we have archangel we have bucky yup we have nebula for our antimatter we have candy crusher for our wrath we have Dark Star. Yes, for our Nova Strike, we have Sky Scale. Very cool for our jump drive. I think that's everything. Um, for next episode, we need a name now for our new male best of the best Vash. And let's not forget, where's our other guy? Where'd we put him? Oh, crap. Where is he? Oh, no, right here. Gallop Ray. Yes. For our Gallop Ray Fiend, we need a name. I don't know. Fiend's pretty cool. And this guy definitely held his weight. But I absolutely adore it. Just imagine once we get even more Paragons into him. Speaking of which, speaking of which, uh, I need I need to learn. I need to cash in. Hold on. Hold on. Um, where is it? Quests. Boom. Boom. These are all ones that we got completed just today. Look at all this. Good Lord. All right. So we can learn even more. Boom. Boom. I got a couple of lamprey ones. Just one more lamprey paragon. And we will be able to look at all the unique tokens. Just one more lamprey and we can get um, fiend up to ancient. So many good things. But anyway, guys, thank you so very much for watching. It's been a pleasure, as you always do. I think I already did all this, didn't I? Yeah. Anyway, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Thanks for watching. And as always, peace out.